the problem that's happening is that women are like, I'm not sharing you oh, with yeah. another girl. But he's like, first of all, you're not even sharing me. You're sharing my pocket. Mm. And you have to share my pocket with another girl because you're only here because of what's in this pocket. So if I go make more in this pocket, I'm going to go get another you. And that's what it is. Sitting around laughing, joking, cracking jokes, literally having a good time without any romance or anything like that, to me, that's that's affection. There's power in sex and there's power in money, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a trade-off. You have power within your own right of this, and I got it in my own right of right here. And it's both of security, just a different form. So you need to make sure that you're stable once you come out of a relationship with a man who is financially stable. If you feel like you want multiple women, that's the only way to do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Eight at the Table. Today we are going to be talking about commodities. So in context, commodity is very valuable, but in this conversation, we're going to be talking about commodities in relationship. So in the real world, gold is like a commodity. So we wanna ask the panel today, what is your goal in a relationship? Ooh, mm. Great job, Yeah, okay. you killing it. That was sexy. That was cool. Mm -hmm. What is I'm not sure. Okay, so we're here with the whole cast today. We have Oliver. It's your boy O. We have Rico. What you bring to the t -t -t table? Danny, <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> we got Aaron. You're Aaron or Renegade. And up? we got Jada here. The, in the chocolate building. baddie. The three some three queen. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> The chocolate bunny. Uh, <laughs> so, so y'all, we just gonna dive right into it. What's your goal in a relationship? What's broke. your loyalty? Loyalty. Woo! That's your commodity. I need you to be loyal to me. Like that's, I can't. Like you've ever dated a person and you're giving your all and you're like, you know, I'm I'm really in it with this person for the long run, and then you realize they're messing around with other people. That breaks me more than anything. Like if you're not loyal to me, then I can't. Can I ask you one question? No. <laughs> Can I ask you a half a question? Sure. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Lo lo right. Okay. All right cool. So loyalty, right? So, like, how do you identify loyalty? Loyalty meaning, um, you know, like, you care about my feelings. Like, you know, if I tell you certain things that rub me the wrong way, you actually care to try to fix it. You know, that I feel like that's a part of loyalty. You know, not stepping out on me. As you know, I don't. I don't really. You guys always talk about you know men are gonna cheat, but for me, I don't feel like I can. I can accept that um, loyalty. As you know, I look out for you. You look out for me. You know, we just care for each other in that way, and those are things that I can appreciate and respect. So that's a gold for me. Yeah. Yeah. So I, the reason why I ask is because I guess like loyalty and trust are similar but i guess they're different right yeah. yeah they are different but for me trust mm -hmm. is the goal like if i can trust you and there's only been one or two women that i've dealt with in serious relationships where i can trust them and then if you had to ask me okay so what is trust trust is literally within me that i don't have to worry about anything mm -hmm. with you I don't have to worry that you're talking to somebody else. I don't gotta worry that you're stepping out. I don't gotta worry that you don't have the best interest at heart for me and you and us. I don't have, like, there is literally nothing that I'm actually worrying about. And whenever I get that type of trust, a different level of comfort and providing for me, like, just blossoms, right? right. Like, I'm willing to do whatever it is necessary for you and for us to get to whatever we gotta go because, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. Mm -hmm. We already know like how my past was. Mm -hmm. So trust is so important to me because trust is so rare mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, you know, I agree. All the way trust. Cause I want somebody that have my back, you know? Like somebody that got my value. Somebody I could trust, somebody where I know you're not trying to sell me out or you, you have bad intention. You know, so you be with some people and they low key are your biggest hater, you know? They don't want to see you do better than them, or you don't want to see them do better than you. So I want somebody I could fully trust where, like you said, somebody where I don't have to second guess, or is that person gonna 
you know, if something happened, would you leave me for, for with a woman that got more money? Or would you leave me for clout? Would you leave me if I get sick? Mm -hmm. All that count. And I also want to great sex. Okay. Yeah. Guys, really great sex. And a little bit poetic. And poetic. Right? It's definitely poetic. Very poetic. And I just want to ask a question then, right? Mm -hmm. Trust is a big commodity for you, Rico. Trust is a big commodity for you, Bay, right? Loyalty. Mm -hmm. If you're with Oliver, and Oliver is very wealthy, very powerful, but he's like, you don't have to trust me, but the, I give you another commodity and it affects your trust. What do people trade their trust for when they're with somebody? Security. Because a lot of people are in a lot of relationships with people they don't trust. Mm. What are they exchanging that commodity for? Because we're talking about an exchange. Comfort. Uh, so would you exchange comfort for trust? Comfort and trust go hand in hand, honestly. Mm -hmm. No. Security really. is no. different Security. than comfort, though. You know what I'm saying? Because comfort is a is a wide range word, mm -hmm. right? But security, I feel like kind of, especially if you're talking about financial stability, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you ask me what would I trade trust for, the only thing I, Rico Hundo, is saying it live on camera, <laughs> would trade the trust aspect for is for status. I do not expect a woman of high status, let's say Rihanna, <laughs> Beyonce, something, I'm not necessarily them, but like somebody of that stature to have to reciprocate the same amount of trust. Because I know that their level of temptations and their level of and, and their lifestyle is so different. It's actually for me, I believe it's unfair to think of them as that trust that I'm talking about where I don't have to worry that they're not falling short of all the temptations that come into their life. It's yeah. not fair because I know that they're human woman or man. That's the only thing that I but Sorry to cut you yeah. off. How do you measure that success? How do you know, okay, that's a person that, like, like, can a girl feel that about you? If a girl is not on your level, can she feel that way about you and your status? So I'm a businessman, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Supply and demand is very simple, right? Mm -hmm. So if Rico becomes the number one Rico out of all the million Ricos that there are in this world, mm -hmm. then you got to kind of know that you have the number one Rico. Mm -hmm. If I'm with somebody who is, like I said, Rihanna, who is, I don't even want to say her name. If I'm with somebody of a stature like, you know, a Kardashian or somebody in that bracket mm -hmm. where they're having, you know they're one of one, at least for our lifespan mm -hmm. or lifetime, right? I know that I will exchange my trust for their status because I know that, you know, what's going to happen is they might step out. Cool. I'm not going to take it personal because they probably had, they're used to having the world as their oyster. So you'll stick um, around after they step out? <laughs> Yeah, but they have to be also at the That's same. I, I would, I would, if one of them cheated on me, depending on how much I actually love them, I would stick around. So the status is really probably the money too, though. Yeah. It's not really the money, right? Because, st like, status is different the from financial stability. But why be with someone who has a, a high status if they're gonna disrespect your relationship? So, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you ask me what I would exchange it for. Exchange? Mm -hmm. It's not exchange. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not. Like, what would you exchange for what? That's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like, well, I Yeah, but I, we're just really trying to, you know, <laughs> dig in in his answer. Like, right, what so, does the status do for I'm, you, personally? Yeah. But what I'm saying is the status does nothing for me. Okay. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thinker, right? And I'm a very reasonable person. And... Somebody who has that much status. Now, they could be a billionaire or they could be a millionaire, mm -hmm. right? There's a big tax bracket difference, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's not the money that I'm saying is why I'm exchanging my, my trust for them. If I actually love this person, I know what comes with their lifestyle. I know what comes with their life and I know what comes with their career. So when I sign my, my name on that paper saying I'm going to deal with somebody who is sought after millions of people, for me to expect you to not fold to millions of people or million or a million plus times to a person is to me a little bit insane. So am I fucked up to think like trust? <laughs> am I like I want to know? Is a, I'm asking. Am I messed up to think like? Let's just say, you know, I trust you. Like when I say trust is somebody where you know we could build something together. Like I could have your kids. We could you know stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
I don't believe like let's just say I'm with somebody and I cheated or he cheated. I, I say like it's infidelity, but I'm, I'm not gonna say I don't trust that person. I might not trust yeah. the infidelity part, mm -hmm. but I can still trust you with my life because I'm I'm be, a, a yeah. man gonna be a man. You know what I'm saying? I know like a man could just go out and have sex. It's not gonna hurt me, but I know like certain men are gonna do certain things for certain women. You know, certain men will never do anything for certain women, but there's certain women they make sure that you're straight. When a man mess with a woman and they really care for you, I feel like they make sure that you're straight. You know, you got a, a, a home to, to go to. If there's something, if you're sick, they're in a hospital, but they're not gonna do that for every woman. Yeah, my step out, but that doesn't mean I don't trust, I don't trust, you don't got my trust. It's just infidelity. And I feel like that's like two completely different things. And the only way, well, can I just, uh, the only and, and just to clear this, and just to clear this up, the only way infidelity becomes untrustworthy is when that person decides to lie about the infidelity. 